Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and hello everyone. We are from group three and we are going to present about uh, trichoptosis in macrophage form cells promotes fat graph fibrosis in mice. So before we start presenting our mind map, let's uh, introduce ourselves first. So my name is Afif Shafi'i bin Muhammad Uzi, I'm a matrix 205784. Uh, my name is Nur Shahidah binti Muhammad Sabli, my matrix number is 206684. My name is Alia Farzana binti Muhammad Farouk and my matrix number is 208218. My, my name is Nur Izabadisha binti Muhammad Zali, my matrix number is 207292. Hi everyone, my name is Wanarin Afisha Manandan and my matrix number is 208291. Alright, uh, thank you guys. So first, uh, let me start with the background with the, of the topic. Uh, so for the background, uh, as we can see, the title is Necroptosis, Necrophage from Cells, Promotes Fat Graph, Fibrosis in Mice. So there is four key words or key components uh, that need to be discussed. So, so first is what is fibrosis? Fibrosis is a major grafting related compli complication that leads to fat tissue dysfunction. Macrophage induced inflammation is related to the development of fat tissue fibrosis. So the next one is fat grafting. What is fat grafting? Fat grafting is a process that is a promising regenerative cell directed therapy that has shown good results in several applications such as wound healing and breast augmentation. And next is necroptosis. So necroptosis is a recently discovered pathway of programmed cell necrosis that results in severe inflammation and subsequent tissue fibrosis. And then macrophage form cells. So to understand what it is, we need to know how macrophage works. So macrophage clear that adipocytes by engulfing the remains, which mainly consists of large lipid droplet, VIA, and epherocytosis process. This leads to the formation of a lipid latent macrophage known as macrophage foam cells. So some fun facts is macrophage foam cells may undergo necroptosis in fat tissue after grafting, leading to hyperinflammation and fibrosis. MCF also can cause severe inflammatory changes during fat tissue remodeling in obesity. And necroptosis is an indigenous trigger of innovation that leads to tissue fibrosis. So that's all for me. I would like to pass to the next person to continue with the presentation. Um, okay, uh, in this um, research, there are 12, um, 12 matter methods. Um, first is fibrosynthesis assays in vitro. Fluorescence microscopy detected fragments of apoptotic adipocytes in macrophages. Macrophages specifically, uh, phagocytos, ap apoptotic cell cells were harvested and incubated with PE conjugated F4 AP antibody to label macrophage. Phagocytic ratio was determined by flow cytometry. Next is apoptosis of adipocytes in vitro. Adipocytes were co-cultured with TNF alpha, uh, 10 nanogram per, per ml or GSK872 for 24 hours in the presence or absence of necroptosis inhibitor NEC1. Uh, the rate of apoptosis was analyzed by flow cytometry after double staining with propidium iodide, PI, and FIPC conjugated anastin 5. Um, about, uh, adipocyte death was detected by PI staining. Next is histological analysis. Fat tissue section was stained with hematocylin, eosin, mastin, trichrome, and serous rate. Fibrosis positive areas were measured using image software. Um, image were captured using a fluorescence microscope. Next is fat grafting model and treatments. Fat tissue was harvested from the integral fat pets of mice. Mice were sacrificed after 1, 4, 8, 12, and 16 weeks. Fat grafted mice were intravenously injected with 1.65 mgg necrostatin 1, NEC1, once per day for 30 days. Next is terminal deoxynucleotidyl transferase mediated DUTP nick and labeling. Um, fat tissue section were embedded in paraffin and treated with proteinase K solution for permeation. They were covered with anti bromodioxyridine, anti BRDU, and incubated with streptavidin, horseradish, ferrocidase, HIV solution. Diaminobenzidine was used as chromogen. And next is analysis of MFC formation and necroptosis in vitro. MFC formation in crown blood structures, CLS, was quantified by oil rate O staining. Um, to explore the paracrine effect of MFC necroptosis on fibroblasts. MFCs were induced by co-culturing macrophages with apoptotic adipocytes for 24 hours or 60, eh, 96 hours. Next is HOX 3342 uh, PI staining, cells were stained with HOX 3342 uh, 5, 5 microgram per ml and PI 5 microgram per ml and image using a fluorescence microscope. Necrotic cells were ident identified as those with PI stained nuclei. Next, I will give it uh, to Alia. Um, okay, so thank you, Isa. So the next is RT-PCR, the normal one that uh, we already learned. So it used uh, the uh, the master mix used is prime prime strip PM uh, from Takara Flutu and Japan, and then the PCR was performed using light cycle model for 800 real time PCR and cyber premix at, at PM. Uh, the expression level was calculated using two the power of negative delta delta C T method, and then below is the primers uh, used for this uh, study. Uh, next is PDMAX. Uh, PDMAX R MAP and enzyme linked immu immuno immunosorbic assays. So EMD mini parse mini uh, mouse high sensitivity T cell magnetic feed panel, which is one of uh, cell signaling technology, 
was used to simultaneously quantify any or all of the following mouse cytokines in the calcium media. Uh, so the activity of cytokines are the below one, the TGF, beta 1, IL, and, and all. And then uh, next, they use uh, immunofluorescent microscopy. microscopy. Uh, so first, the cell would fix by using like PBS um, and many antibodies. Uh, so then cover slips uh, were then sequentially labeled with specific species-specific fluorochrome, conjugated secondary antibodies, and DAPI, which is uh, sigma outreach. And then samples were visualized using a fluorescent microscope. Um, collagen 1 and collagen 4 fluorescent per cell was analyzed by using MHPA, uh, MHPA software. And then Western blood analysis. Uh, total cell isolates of cultured cells were prepared using AMPER. Uh, AMPER is mammalian protein extraction reagent, uh, one of the Thermo Fisher uh, uh, machine. And then uh, primary antibodies against uh, PRIPK3, RIPK3, PMLKL, and MLKL from a mouse reactive necrophosis antibody sample kit. Were used. So um, after the incubation uh, with secondary antibodies, immunocomplexes were detected using a WB7108. WB7108 is actually a Western based chemiluminescent detection kit. So in this experiment, uh, the internal control was data active. And then statistical analysis, um, data were analyzed using graphite prism statistical software. Um, so data are presented uh, as mean plus minus standard deviation. An independent sample keys test or a one-way or two-way analysis of variance with one peroni post hoc analysis was performed as a pupate. So the p-value was below than 0 0.05 uh, were considered. Next, I'll pass it to that presenter. Okay, uh, in this article, uh, it has nine results. Okay, we start at the first one, the first result. Okay, the volume of fat graphs decreased over time in the mouse model. So fat graphs display a rougher texture than typical fat tissue, pre-grafting from week 4 to week 16, and were protected by a fine, whereby secularized fibrous capsule. Okay, next, adipose tissue fibrosis is increased in fat graft tissue. Serious red staining can detect the collagen, and after grafting, there is a high fibrosis in the fat tissue than there was previously. The third one, MFCs are formed in CRS in fibrotic regions of fat graft tissue. Uh, from analysis of H and E staining and the tunnel apoptosis assay, adipose tissue have been disrupted in fat grafts and also adipocytes apoptosis increase after fat grafting at early stage. As adipocytes decrease, it can cause infiltration of macrophage into fat graft tissue, more high in normal fat tissue. And then macrophage scavenge the residual lipid droplets of apoptotic adipocytes and forms CRS. Next, immunofluorescence staining was performed on MFCs against adipophilin for detection of the macrophage lipid droplet code protein. Next one is necroptosis is activated in MFCs in fat graft tissue. In fat graft on week 4, macrophage had a high number of intracellular lipid droplets as well as lipid droplet loaded electron dense vesicles that, that resemble lysosomes. In MFCs, cellular lipids cause cell necrosis. At week 8 and 16, after grafting, the area of PMLKL positive cells in fibrotic depots of adipose tissue was significantly higher than it was before grafting, and PMLKL red and F4 80s green double immunofluorescent labeling show that certain macrophage exhibit necroptosis following grafting. And this finding suggests that MFC stimulation of necroptosis plays a role in fat graft fibrosis. Next one is in vitro apoptotic adipocytes model recapitulates adipocyte apoptosis in fat grafts. The first one is adipocyte uh, apoptosis can be caused by TNF, which is pro-inflammatory cytokine and is elevated in fat graph. So adipocyte apoptosis analyzed by flow cytometry and it shows more cells undergo apoptosis rather than necrosis. Next, adipocytes will co-culture with TNF in the presence or absence of a necroptosis inhibitor, NEC1 or GSK872 to see if necroptosis happen. And results show the in vitro induction of apoptosis but not necroptosis in adipocyte by TNF that sufficient. Next, I will pass to Nurin. Thank you, Shida. So I'll continue the results for this study. Um, lipid accumulation in cell as macrophages causes two things, which are formation of MFCs and also the activation of necroptose. Uh, yes. Uh, firstly, I'll talk about the formation of MFC. Uh, the co culture assay that is used in this study uh, actually mimics the formation of CLS um, on, in the uh, mice fat graphs. Graph. And then uh, the 86% CLS macrophages actually contain lipid droplets after 96 hours of incubation, meaning they are converted into MFCs after co, co culture with the apoptopic adipocytes. Uh, and uh, in the study, we used FITC plus F480 and cells, and they are considered as the macrophage cells, and um, it showed that they phagocytose the apoptopic adipocytes. And next, um, the activation of necroptosis in MFCs. The co-culture of C CLS macrophages with apoptopic adipocytes time-dependently depend increased. The number of approximately 36% of CLM CLS macrophages underwent necrosis at 96, 96 hours of incubation. So Western bloating results showed that GSK872 and NEC1, these are, uh, as mentioned uh, by Shida, these are the necroptosis inhibitor, and they uh, prov provenly uh, inhibited the necroptotic pathway in CLS macrophages. So 86% of CLS macrophages from MFCs and about 64% survive in the CLS cell culture model. Next, necroptosis of MFCs induces collagen expression in fibroblasts via a pyrocrine mechanism. 
So the level of IL-6, TNF-alpha, MCP-1, and MIP-2, these are the pro-inflammatory cytokines, and the level of them was lower in co-cultures treated with NEC1 or GSK-872 than in the untreated co-culture. So the necroptosis of MFCs in the CLS cell culture model induced the production of... Uh, so since we use the inhibitor, uh, the necroptosis... Uh, does, we reduce the occurrence of necroptosis and then uh, actually decrease the production of inflammatory cytokines. And uh, in this study, the collagen aspiration is also tested by staining of collagen 1 and collagen 6, and the levels of these two collagens expressed um, increase by treatment with medium, but decrease by the addition of GSK872. Okay, lastly, uh, the blockade of necroptosis elevates fat graft fibrosis in vivo. NEC1 uh, had a stronger effect on reducing collagen expression in fibroblasts in vitro than GSK872. So uh, fat grafting model mice uh, used NEC1 to study the biological effect. Uh, it's more preferable. Um, NEC1 also inhibited the, uh, the uh, as I said before, uh, inhibited the necroptotic pathway, down-regulated down down inflammatory cytokines and chemokines, and decreasing the positive areas for collagen 1 and collagen 6. Uh, so that's why NEC1 uh, is used to treat the mice fat grafting, because it is more ameliorated than the other treatment, which is better. Um, that's all for me. I'll pass to the next presenter. Okay, so there are a few things that were discussed uh, in the study. So first and foremost, um, the study provides um, the study provides evidence the necroptosis of MFCs leads to progression of fat graft fibrosis. So just like um, what in the background that I've said just now, the fibrosis fibrogenesis is a complex uh, process caused by a variety of cells, including fibroblasts, immune cells, and parenchymal cells. So fibroblasts are actually the main producers of ECM. So what they did when they did uh, ECM remodeling, um, the collagen 1 and collagen, collagen 4 were highly expressed and the expression remained high for up to just like what uh, you all said just now, 4 to 16 weeks in fat drafts related to before grafting. So in particular, collagen 1 uh, molecules were staggered and improved with each other to form thick collagen bundles around oil seeds or dead uh, adipocytes in fat drafts, so, uh, which, report, which is reportedly important for limitation of adipose tissue expansion. So similarly, similarly in real life, uh, increased collagen 4 expression is implicated in obesity with poor metabolic outcomes. And then um, after that, so, so when they did ECM remodeling, so adipose fibrosis and adipose ECM remodeling are also associated with increased microfraction filtration and upregulation up of inflammation in adipose tissue. So they found that um, macrophage infiltration into fat drafts was closely related to graft fibrosis. So um, can you, I think, can you, uh, thank you. So, okay. so what they did, they found the macrophage uh, clustered around a fibrophage. Adipocytes or large salts, uh, large oil droplets to form typical CLS. SCLS, and then uh, the cells were filled with cytosolic LDs. Um, this can be shown by the foamy appearance under a microscope. And then the plasma membrane of MFCs was severely damaged. So this uh, means that cell death of MFCs um, is in vivo. And then it was further supported by immunohistochemical staining for PMLKL, a definitive biomarker of necroptosis activity in, in vivo and double immunofluorescent staining for PMKL and F4 uh, slash AT. So this confirmed that... Uh, 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 okay. Uh, so this confirmed that necroptosis is an emerging pathway underlying, underlying inflammatory cell death was active within MFCs in fibrotic regions of fat drafts at the late stage of drafting. Uh, and next, uh, can, oh, oh, uh, can you uh, a bit uh, step up? Because, okay, so next, um, that is again. All right, all right. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Okay, so, okay, so necro necroptosis has been implicated in various pathological uh, conditions, including myocardial, my myocardial, liver, pulmonary, and renal fibrosis. So the expression of PRIPK and PMLKL um, uh, found that the first time that MFCs under, uh, this study found that the first time that MFCs underwent necroptosis in fibrotic regions of graft in a time-dependent manner, and that expression of PMLKL was significant, significantly increased in MFCs. And then it also developed a physiological relevant in vitro assay uh, that found that apoptosis, apoptotic apop adipocytes were sufficient to induce necroptosis death of MFCs as evidenced by activation of RIPKL and MLKL signaling, part and estimate that uh, these cell death and treatment with specific necroptosis inhibitors. So, um, and then um, after they found out this, uh, they uh, hypnotized that, uh, they hypothesized that necroptosis of MFCs play a role in graft inflammation and affect fibrogenesis. So, uh, I think Nurin has said it just now, um, necroptosis is an important trigger of inflammation. Um, they, uh, necro necroptotic cells can directly trigger inflammation by releasing pro-inflammatory cytokines. So, um, Consistently, the data suggests that MFCs undergo necroptotic death in the presence of death, death uh, adipocytes in a co-culture assay. So they release inflammatory cytokines and chemokines, including um, the one that uh, I think Nurem just said just now, uh, TNF-beta, uh, TNF-alpha, IL-1, um, IL-1, alpha, IL-6, MCP-1 into, into the express cellular space, and thereby uh, increase expression of fibrosis related. And then um, necroptotic uh, signaling can promote this. They found out that necroptotic signaling can promote the secretion of pro-inflammatory cytokines in a cell-intrinsic manner, especially through the inflammatory pathway. So 
these these uh, present results indicate that RFPK3 and MLKL dependent net proposes rather than inflammatory activation may decrease the secretion of in inflammatory cytokines and chemokines in MFCs. So um, taken together, uh, all in all, it is uh, plausible that reducing net proposes of MFCs will decrease inflammation and fibrosis in fat graphs. So they, um, mm, uh, this, this one is the net one um, from the net one result. So this um, result tend to be the first report of the uh, from the net one um, Result. This is the first report of the long-term therapeutic application of NET1 to reduce fat graft fibrosis. So uh, this study highlights that the parapine loop between MFCs and fibroblasts, which establishes a vicious process that augments uh, inflammatory changes and fibrogenesis in adipose tissue after graft. So I'll pass it to the conclusion. Okay, for uh, in conclusion, MFC necroposis caused by the adipocytes can contribute to fat graft inflammation and may hasten the development of graft fibrosis by causing fibroblasts to secrete collagen. And lastly, in order to avoid fibrosis in fat graph, it may be possible to suppress necroposis in macrophage. And that's all from us. Thank you.